If you've been watching the channel, you'll know I am a big fan of the US Bank Altitude Reserve. And while I really like the card, I think there are four things I would love to see US Bank do to make this card even better. Hey everybody, I'm Waller's Wallet and this channel is all about credit cards, credit card rewards, and showing how you can use your points and miles to travel for less. So if that's something that interests you, consider subscribing and turn the notification bell on as well. Also, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. It really does help the channel out. Now, there is not a perfect credit card on the market. They all have their pros and their cons, but I've always thought, wouldn't it be sweet if we could customize our cards and pay an annual fee accordingly to the earning rates or benefits we wanted in a card? That may be a topic for another day. But at the moment, the Altitude Reserve has been my favorite card in my wallet, but a couple of tweaks of it could have it go from really good to a great card. Starting off with making a few changes to real-time mobile rewards. And this feature has been great for me and I recently used it for an upcoming trip to London, but I think it could be improved. First, it would be great to have them at Airbnb for real-time mobile reward redemptions. Airbnb is a travel charge, so while I can use my travel credit on it and earn triple points for that purchase, I would love to be able to redeem my rewards at 1.5 cents per point for these charges. Then I think they need to expand the airlines that you can use real-time mobile rewards on. For me, it hasn't been an issue, but the list is limited for international, even domestic carriers, and that could be a problem for some people. They also need to lower the hotel minimum requirement from $500. If I were to stay a night or two somewhere at a cheaper property, this could hinder my ability to use the real-time mobile rewards. Realistically, I should be able to redeem for any amount on a hotel or travel charge. And the last update to real-time mobile rewards I would love to see, and I think this is a big one, is the ability to use cash plus points in real-time mobile rewards. Because currently, you need to have all the points in your account to use it. But I would love to see them add cash plus points where I can use the points I have in my account and they charge the rest of my altitude reserve. And I think this would be a great and welcome change. Number two, they really need to improve the lounge benefit. Right now, you get four single-use passes for you and four for your guests. And this is a disappointing number since other premium cards give you unlimited access for you and up to two other guests. And for the $400 annual fee, you should be able to get similar lounge access as you would with other premium cards. And this card actually gives you fewer passes than the Hilton Surpass, which gives you 10 total passes. And that card only comes with a $95 annual fee. And I think this is a big miss for the benefits and I would love to see US Bank address this. Number three, they should look to add the Visa Infinite Airline Discount Portal. One awesome benefit of the Ritz-Carlton and the CNB Visa Infinite card is the $100 airline discount on two to five round trip domestic coach tickets, which can be a great money saver, especially on those cheap fares. And since the US Bank Altitude Reserve is a Visa Infinite card, it would be great to see them add this feature to the card. It would add even more value for people who do hold the Altitude Reserve. And I personally would find this extremely useful as I have repositioned to New York City numerous times for flights. And an hour flight for basic economy tickets are pretty cheap and saving $100 for those would be awesome. But this benefit is one of the great benefits about Visa Infinite cards and it would be great to see it actually on the Altitude Reserve. Number four is a Wi-Fi credit. The Altitude Reserve currently comes with 12 GoGo Wi-Fi passes, which is great if you're on a plane that's equipped with GoGo Wi-Fi, but not all planes have GoGo Wi-Fi. So I think it would be awesome to see them adjust this to a general Wi-Fi credit. And I think this would be a nice upgrade over the more limiting GoGo Wi-Fi option. And US Bank can make the Altitude Reserve the first premium card to offer a yearly Wi-Fi credit to use on any airline. So you can use Wi-Fi on any Wi-Fi equipped plane. Not only does this give me more flexibility, but it also makes me feel like I'm getting more value from these ancillary benefits. See, when it comes to the improvements I think the US Bank should make for the Altitude Reserve, I don't think they're anything drastic. For my travel style and goals, this card is great, but if they made just a few changes, I think it would further increase my satisfaction with the Altitude Reserve. And as US Bank wants to show off the real-time mobile rewards, which is a great benefit, 
I think it needs to be accessible to more airlines. They need to lower the purchase amount for hotels and even add Airbnb since people do use Airbnb for their stays. And a few of these changes would give them unique benefits over other premium credit cards, which in a market where premium credit cards have plenty of overlap, the small differences can make a big difference. So my question to you is, what would you like to see improved on the Altitude Reserve? Hey, if you like this video, consider giving it a thumbs up. And if you know somebody who might benefit from this video, feel free to share it with them. And if you want to help support the channel, a simple way is to use the links on the website or in the description below. And if you like learning about credit cards, points, miles, cashback, or just flat out traveling for less, consider hit the subscribe button down below. Until next time, safe travels and take care.